All right, guys, I'm going to try to keep the camera out of the wind. Uh, today, I'm out on Fish Lake again, but I want to do something a little bit different. I want to talk about how I'm locating these fish kind of offshore at this time of the year in some of these lakes here in, in Florida. And right now, uh, I'm over top of a hydrilla bed. And uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. The hydrilla is down there. It's literally about a foot or two below the surface of the water. And a lot of these fish right now, with the wind is pushing this way, are pushed up in here and they're using this as, uh, as cover to ambush uh, smaller bait fish. Now, I've already seen two fish come up and smack the surface, both within five feet of my boat. And um, it's just the prime opportunity to fish this kind of stuff. First of all, even though hydrilla is invasive, and it, uh, it's an invasive plant that, you know, you want to be careful not to spread to other ponds, lakes, that kind of stuff. Bass actually love hydrilla. Uh, it provides great cover for them. It provides an ambush point. They can hide in it. And what these bass are doing is they're hiding down inside the hydrilla. They see something up on the surface. They run up and they grab it and they dive right back in. So if you're going to fish thick hydrilla, make sure you've got some braid or some heavy line. I'm fishing a... Uh, 14 and uh, 17 pound fluorocarbon, which this stuff's pretty hard to break. And I'm just gonna be running a fluke over top of this stuff. I've got a, a shallow diving crankbait, and then I've got a worm for some pitching stuff later if this doesn't work out. But that's what I'm focusing on today. It is fairly windy out, 12 mile an hour winds. I've got my anchor, my $20 anchor from Academy. I'm gonna try to keep my butt seated for most of the day. Uh, the waves are a little bit bigger than I feel comfortable standing in, but you know, we'll do what I have to to catch these fish. But I've already seen two fish come up the surface and uh, hopefully we'll find a couple more. I'm gonna try to stand a couple more. fish of the day. This little guy, not huge, but he's right where I thought he'd be. Let me turn out of the wind here and uh, he came up out of the hydrilla to grab that fish or to grab that fluke. Most of these fish, um, it's probably only about four or five feet deep here. Most of them are held off in that area. I know if, as we push up towards the reeds there, the hydrilla gets to be about uh, almost underneath your boat. The bass I just caught was actually warm. It wasn't cold. We've had some, you know, the water's warming up definitely down here in Florida. We've had some high 80s uh, roll through. We're gonna be that way for a little while now. And the wind is strong enough that it's actually pulling, pushing my boat despite the anchor. I'm drifting just a little bit, but what I'm gonna do is just use the anchor to slow myself down, not necessarily stop. That was a better one. Not huge, probably about two pounds. So really just had those two bites. I saw three fish though total, the two I had on plus another one come from surface. Um, so I'm not really sure where they're concentrated. I caught those guys out that way. So I'm, I'm wondering if that's where they're at. But I wanna keep moving up. This is all grassy up through here and uh, check this out. I'm gonna throw the crank a couple times here out towards the deeper side of this uh, hydrilla bed. Nope, that's like a cotton hydrilla there. I just hooked into a fish with a spinnerbait. Hit the water, it's been in the water for like maybe 10 seconds, and it's a big one. Please stay on. Oh, he's down in that hydrilla. I gotta get his head up. Oh, hell yeah. There we go. Look at that pig. Oh my gosh, just popped out. Whew. Beautiful bass. 
Oh, let's get a weight on her and see how much she is. Oh, she's coming in just over three and a half. Not long. Extra chunky though. Okay. Nope. Oh, good save. All right. Woo. Let's release her on this side where there's no wind. Okay, baby. Thank you. She goes back down into that hydrilla. Okay, just so you get an idea of what I did, I threw back over in that direction where I caught those other fish. As soon as this thing hit the water, she slammed it. Man, I did a really stupid thing there too. I did not, I did not secure my rod. I have four rod holders on this thing, two forward and, and two, uh, two in the back, and I did not secure my rod. And when I went to release her, my rod went over the edge it actually got caught on my anchor rope. So my anchor, my $20 anchor, just saved my my $100 rig. $100 plus dollars, actually. So that $20 just paid for itself. Okay, so I think we're gonna move over here, up into this area back in there. I know it gets shallower. I wanna see if this fish are kinda stacked up, you know, as I push my hand, like, out that way. So. Uh, let's uh, let's pull up and see if there's any more hydrilla beds over there. This this here gets kind of deep and it's kind of sparse. Wind is uh, going to be an issue no matter what today, so we'll just have to adapt. And even with all the stuff that's on the anchor, let me let me show you all that stuff right there that's on the anchor. All this stuff, uh, wind is still pushing me. So this whole area up here, you know, it's probably probably six or seven feet deep the hydrilla comes up pretty close to the surface so I'm wondering this might be way too big of an area to fish over here might have to find something just a little bit more isolated as big as the last one. That's a decent fish. Absolutely obliterated this spinnerbait here. Again, just popped right out. This time, let me secure my rod. There we go. Got a pretty fish. Right, let's get it back in there. This area is a little bit different than the stuff that I've been fishing or that I'm going to continue to fish on the way in. But this area here, so there's a little bit of a cut that goes into some Kissimmee grass. And uh, there's hydrilla down here. I can see it. It's down there quite a bit. I just had a good slam on the spinnerbait. But he, he missed it. He hit it hard, but he spit it. And I didn't get a chance to set the hook. If you look back there, there's a little bit of eelgrass. Oh, some uh, bait fish just jumped right there, but that's because of my spinner bait. Now, there's a little bit of eelgrass, and I'm thinking that uh, in this corner here, obviously there's bait fish pushed up in here. I wonder if there's some bass pushed up in here as well with those bait fish. See, the other predominant hydrilla bed that I know of in this lake is here in this corner, which is just off the boat ramp. This is where I was catching them the other day. And uh, I brought my son here and uh, continued to catch them uh, a couple days later. So with the wind keep that's consistently blowing up into this corner, I have a good feeling they're, they're still probably here underneath the hydrilla. I think it's over just a little bit more. I think I'm just off of it. did have a fish jump right there though. There he is. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. I knew there was one there. It's a good fish. 
I think. Yep, yep, there it is. Now recording? Yep. You wanna run at me? Flip him. Oh, come on, seven foot rod. Don't kill me now, flip her in here. Come here. There. It's not a giant, but it's a good fish. This fish has been a... Ouch! Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. This fish has been caught before. Really sharp gripper teeth, so you can see right there, this fish has been caught before. Nice. I weigh close to two pounds. Very feisty. Might have been me that caught that fish. I have no idea. I'm assuming because this weather pattern, this wind pattern really hasn't changed in the last uh, week or so. A lot of this fish that I caught are probably still in this area somewhere. That guy uh, smoked this fluke and immediately went down into the hydrilla. So they're still buried and they're down on the hydrilla. Something jumped right there. Chasing some bait fish. But uh, I thought he was way bigger than he was. He fought pretty hard. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for me. Uh, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come down here and fish this corner just a little bit before I leave, just for fun. Uh, I think this is the edge of the hydrilla mat. kind of comes out around here. So if you're out on the kayaks, uh, any of these lakes in Florida, you know, uh, right now it's the time of the year if you can find a, a nice grass mat or hydrilla bed, uh, you know, flying a fluke over top, crankbait or spinnerbait, that's going to be uh, key to catching some fish. Um, even in lakes like this, like you, you think they'd be pushed up against the shoreline in it, and along those reeds, they're not. They're out, you know, 20, 30 yards out in underneath these hydrilla mats. So I'm going to drift down here again and uh, see if I can't find a where this mat kind of starts. Anchor up there and fish it for a little bit and then I think I'm going to head home. But uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to go out uh, maybe to uh, a lake chain up in Orlando or I might head out uh, west towards Haines City. I'm not sure. I have to decide. But either way, I'm definitely going out tomorrow as well and uh, hopefully we'll get some content for you guys. Uh, if you're watching this, thanks for watching. Good luck with the fishing. If you happen to catch any monsters, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, it came off. No, 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 no. No, it came off. Oh, that was a big fish. I was messing with the stupid GoPro. Some thick hydrilla over there, and I was just ripping the uh, spinnerbait through, and he grabbed it. This flew over in that corner. There's so many big fish I just scared out of that corner. Oh, that fish came up off the surface to grab it. He's down on the hydrilla over there. Come on. I know you're down in there. I'm gonna keep his head up. Come on. Come on. I don't think he's big. It's all wrapped up in hydrilla. He's not. All right. I think they're pushed up in that corner back in there. It's a nice fish. Not a monster. But they might be pushed up through that hydrilla mat there. That other one I missed might have been way bigger than that. But then again, I can't, couldn't really tell.